And our coverage continues with Fox 12's Camilla Orti. Yeah, she takes a look at the impact the virus is having on some local students. Camilla? Well, Pete Liz, it's an unprecedented situation for Washington State University. Students on all five of its campuses, including right here in Vancouver, will be doing a lot more of this. Attending classes only online, it's of course an effort to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. An already peaceful campus will be getting even quieter on March 23rd. I did not expect it to move as quickly as it has. WSU Vancouver Communications Director Brenda Alling told Fox 12 just last week that the university was considering options to move to online only instruction as it monitored the COVID-19 outbreak. The final decision hit student inboxes Wednesday morning. Beginning right after spring break, face-to-face -face teaching is done. It's making it more real. We, we have to start <laughs> changing our everyday routine. Students I talked to on campus told me they weren't surprised or too concerned. I understand why it is an urgent thing. So they teach us to overcome and adapt. So I think everybody will be fine going online. It won't change much. Alling says it's still unclear how long in-person instruction is postponed for and other details still need to be ironed out. Courses that need experiential or hands-on learning, we're going to have to apply a little creativity to. This comes on the heels of Governor Jay Inslee's warning to the entire state of Washington. I'm asking all of our school districts to immediately begin contingency planning for potential school closures in the next several days. Seattle Public Schools announced a two-week closure just a couple hours later, prompting other school districts to speed up their contingency planning. A spokesperson for the Vancouver Public School District told me Wednesday afternoon they're working on an update to send to families, including a list of activities and events in King, Snohomish, and Pierce counties that will be canceled. Parents here in Vancouver just hope school itself doesn't get canceled too. I think it's a little overreactive. Um, uh, most parents work, and so if schools shut down, then it's extra uh, workload on the parents and families. And here in Clark County, I've also heard from Washougal and Evergreen school districts. They echoed a lot of what VPSD uh, told me, that they're monitoring the situation, they're strategizing in case they do need to shut down school, and they're canceling trips and sporting events in the Puget Sound area. We also learned today that the University of Oregon is going to online only classes for three weeks, like we already mentioned, starting on March 30th. And Oregon State University is supposed to speak to its students on the matter tomorrow. Reporting live here in Vancouver, Camilla Ortiz, Fox 12 Oregon.